Hello, neighbors. I'm not cooking tonight. We've got a guest cook. Well, she's not really a cook. At least in my taste bud, she's not a cook. You're not going to starve tonight either. Anyways, we're going to turn it around and give you Denise. You should be more excited than me. Here's Denise. I'm more excited than you. Oh. <laughs> I had your chest, not your face. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. So I was going through recipes from when the kids were small and I was a less healthy person. So we used to love this microwave tuna casserole. I think going back to less healthy mood though with the food we're eating. Because you are cooking it. <laughs> anyway, here's the funny part. We just had to figure out how to turn our microwave on to 50%. Okay, so here's what we're going to start out with. We're going to start out with rotini noodles, eight ounces. So half a box of rotini noodles. You Here, hold on. Let me see one of those. Yep, they're not cooked. They're not cooked. <laughs> Make sure you put it in the microwave and go bowl um, because we're going to microwave this when we're done. Next up, we're Miss going to Anti Microwave. I know, right? This goes against just about everything. 12 ounces of drained tuna. It's three cans ish. I can't say five ounces, but I think tuna wise, it would be. We need to have as much protein as possible in here. So, I already drained the tuna. So what's this say? I don't know what We just had, had someone pop on and it says, bring them on camera. No, don't bring them on camera without asking people. Okay, I, I didn't know that. I'd never seen that before. That's a new thing. Facebook did it for a while and then they quit doing it. And then, um, I see it's back lately. So, you put your... Three cans of tuna in there. Then four ounces of sliced mushrooms. You know, last week we used a big can of mushrooms, so we kept that. By the way, we did freeze them, so we just got them out of the freezer today. So you got your four ounces of sliced mushrooms, a cup and a half of sour cream. A cup and a half of sour cream, because my husband wonders how these noodles are gonna cook. Sour cream. Really healthy for you. Yep, that's what it is. This is from the pantry, honey. You no, that, that's from the fridge. Whatever. And two-thirds cup milk. A.K.A. cream. I watered it down. We don't keep milk in the house. We don't generally keep milk in the house. And then salt. How much salt? A teaspoon. <laughs> I learned to cook from you. Between you and the girls. How much pepper? pepper? How much a, pepper? A little bit. <laughs> How much does it call for? A quarter teaspoon. Oh, I, I don't even think you had a half of a quarter. Thank goodness. Okay, so mix that up. It can crunch the noodles up. Whatever. Somebody's got to get on the rug. He's doing the, the wooden floor dance. Do you need me to hold that while you help him? No. Why don't you walk over there and just... Give him a little boot. Oh no, he just got up. He was just he was just tapping his toes. He's doing the elect he's doing the electric slide. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. So you want to make sure your noodles all get a dab of milk on them. A little bit of sour cream on them. You should use a spoon. You and your shouldas. You're all full of shouldas, but you don't cook. And why you won't cook the recipes I pull out. Is everybody enjoying a beautiful 70 degree day? We were working on putting our pool up until fertilizer guy showed up, darn it. So we'll have to work on it tomorrow. Uh, my arm's getting sore, I gotta switch arms. My shoulder was starting to hurt. I used the one I was leaning on, and I had to use switch the one I was leaning so, on there. See how it's all messed up, all covered and stuff. Next, we're going to cover. That's as tightly as we get it. Go to the microwave. Ten minutes at fifty percent. <coughs> now, while that's cooking, we're going to make the topping. This is part of the best part, right? So, quarter cup breadcrumbs. 
ish. Quarter cup ish. Quarter cup ish of Parmesan. Now I'm wondering how many people have cooked the recipes we've done. Denise got got heard from somebody that they cooked they cooked one of our recipes we did a couple weeks back. They've already made it three times for their kids because they just love it. So hey, if you've made one of our recipes, drop us a comment. Let us know. Then we add two tablespoons of butter. I'll have Whoop. I just hit the phone with my beer. Temperature. And then you oops stir those together, right? So what's going to happen is in 10 minutes, when that's partially cooked, we're going to pull it out of the microwave. Oh, we're dear. going to stir it. We're going to pull it out of the microwave with pot holders. You're not supposed to use melted butter for that? No. Probably you're supposed to use cold butter so it cuts in there better. Anyway, then we tap it with the cheese breadcrumbs butter mixture and pop it back in the microwave uncovered until it's hot and bubbly here, here, four here. to seven minutes longer says betty crocker here's a hint for you before you put the butter in mix the breadcrumbs and the cheese so you yeah. get a mixture there and then put the butter in then mix it up again yeah, that way you won't get clumps of butter butter with just cheese and no bread and stuff like that Anybody else notice he's the king of tell you later? Never mind, I asked his opinion earlier. So I'm an observationist. I observation and then I tell ya. <laughs> Anybody else think somebody should get a boot in the butt? So that's got another eight minutes to cook. We've got our topping all ready when it comes out. We'll snap a picture for you, and we'll snap a picture for you at the end, and Ken's ooh, 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 yummy, yummy face, because he's pretty skeptical. If you've done one of our recipes, or been thinking about it, or whatever, hey, let us know. We think it's cool to char. And we'll see you next week. You got anything else to say? Bye! So long, folks. Oh, Paul just missed us. We're done. Bye, Paul. Well, my helper went away because he's scared mostly. So, 10 minutes has been up. We're going to take that out. Now, you really want to be sure that you scrape the sides because those noodles on the side, mm, kind of not 100% done, right? So you want to stir it up first. But it's still pretty juicy, still pretty slushy, right? Now, we've got that quarter cup of Parmesan breadcrumbs and butter. So we're going to put that over the top to make a yummy topping. And then this is out of somebody Crocker book. I see. After you've got that all covered up, we're gonna put it back in the microwave. Now, here's where things get a little dicey. The recipe just says microwave uncovered until hot and bubbly, four to seven minutes longer. I don't know if that's 50% or if that's 100. So we're just gonna put it in the microwave for four more minutes. I'm gonna go with 100. I really don't microwave very much anymore. Here's hoping we'll show you the after effects later. Thanks for joining us, guys.